And I guess if either were to achieve that this season, that would represent real success, Adam. I certainly think so. I mean, when you look at the back end of last season, I think it would be hard to justify the managers in terms of the way that they finished, probably filtered off a little bit. But what you have to say, they've been given a summer to recruit new players. They've brought their own identity into their respective football clubs. And these are two sides on balance, on paper, in this game in particular, I think are finely balanced. But you certainly feel the Barnet. I think he's a player of real quality that is going to be important for Eastview this season. Importantly, finds himself the goals like he did against Dagenham and Redbridge. Shields. Beards does like to get forwards. Can't make sure the cross didn't come over. I think that'd be a good one-on-one -on -one contest there, Sam Beard against Brennan Camp. A beard down the left-hand side likes to get forward. We know he's got quality on the ball. Gorman. Gorman gets it back again. Decides to hit one. Well, certainly travelling, wasn't it? Camp with the ball forward. Pritchard up against his former club today. There's his cross. Fighting ball over, wasn't it? Kabamba arriving along with Panther. Abrahams, Whitehall central. Hill arriving towards the edge of the box. Abrahams has done well, and Whitehall's there! It's that ball in behind again that's causing Barnett all sorts of issues. I mentioned about the line being quite high. But then you have to say, as a defender, this is as good as scoring a goal. Facing towards your own goal, and the ball is whipped across with pace. You have to get your body there, get something on it, and just hope for a little bit of lady luck. here for Barnet. After it was arguably Eastley who made the better start to the match. Oh, it's only just wide. A little indecisive in their defending of that set piece, Eastley. It was Winter who's. Effort just went wide of the post. It's Carter that's marking him. Actually comes off Charlie Carter, and yeah, I don't think Winter actually gets anything on it. I think it might have come on Nicky Cabamba at the end there, but they to find themselves another corner. Keep Eastley penned in for the moment. Just a warning from the referee, Adrian Quelch, about some holding in the box. Gorman whips it in for the bees. It's a great delivery there, and it's led to the opener. Well, they were maybe a little fortunate from the first set piece, Eastley. But Barnett continued to apply pressure, and they take the lead. Really good set piece delivery there, and how they've made the most of it. They certainly have, and it was a quality, quality ball in there. It's Pritchard on the, on the goalkeeper, he makes that run across the near post, and he gets a touch on it. Whether it hits Martin right on the line, and it goes over, I think it does just, but the header was going towards goal. It's a quality ball, it was all about the delivery of the cross that came in there. It's the law of the air. Beard will keep it going. Pritchard. Playing with confidence now. Barnett Smith bends one. It was a comfortable take in the end for McDonald. Just look at that midfield area of Eastley. I think it's a little bit too deep when the ball goes out wide. And there's a couple of times now when Pritchard and Smith have got the ball in these areas and they need to squeeze up a lot more than what they to be given against a goalkeeper. I don't think Hall did anything too much to get a foul given against him. with the header. And Camp was there for the Spitfires. Amos Smith, helped on by Pritchard. Cabamba with a good header. Shields. Cabamba works in the box now. Shields might go alone. He loves this sort of range. Fabulous goal. Sean Shields for Barnett, who doubled that lead at the hive.
second of the season. So well worked in the build-up, but once he got on the ball, there was only one thought in his mind. Yeah, I mean, you've got to score when you're on top, and EC haven't managed to do that, but you have to say the link-up play between Shields and Kavamba was absolutely brilliant. He gambled off the header of the centre forward there. It gets into that area. Camp is far too far out of position. And when you drive into the box like that, one-on-one -on -one is against the centre half, and he cuts inside. Martin loses his footing. You feel you have to score. You prove yourself a bit of promise here. Once you get there, you feel that you have... Gorman. Well, Eastley certainly started the better, but it's Barnett who got the goals. Pritchard against the club that released him over the summer. He's been credited, it would seem, with the first, that header at the near post, and then a lovely individual goal from Sean Shields to make it to half time then at the hive. It is Barnett 2, Eastley 0. Walker in the goal. When you've got the qualities of Carter, Whitehall, Hill, Hasketh in particular, they haven't utilised those within the final third. You look at Barnett's quality in the final third, I think they've offered a lot, lot more. So I think that's what Lee Bradbury was certainly looking for his side. To get into those areas, you need to show more qualities. But as we've seen it 2-0 before, Adam, the next goal is going to be absolutely crucial. They have showed an ability to come from behind easily, as they did against South End at the Silver Lake at the weekend. Spectacular fashion as well with that flicked on by Hall. Now Gorman again, four on the edge of the box for the Bees. And Pritchard will keep it going. And Hall hits it early! Spectacular! Hammered home by Hall. Ten gone in the second half. And Barnett now have three. But that is the pick of the bunch. Sheer quality. From Rob Hall. That's a brilliant, brilliant strike. And it's all about setting yourself to get yourself ready for it. And he does that because he goes towards the ball and he just stops slightly and adjusts his body to swing that left foot towards the ball. Just stops there, sets himself. It's a difficult technique, but he's made that look very, very easy. And he doesn't strike it with real force, he times it that creates the power. Milan squad under Jose Mourinho. Played with the likes of Vieira and Matarazzi. I'm sure there'll be one or two of you who'll remember that. Here's Abrahams. Diara did well. They did really, really well there. So unlucky there from Abrahams. He did the right thing. Keeper coming out. Sometimes you go for that little bit of power with the side foot. That's the awareness to go for the little chip. On the header is in, and Eastley here have a Keenan Whitehall has a go. Oh, what a save! That's a brilliant spot by Laurie Walker. What's a magnificent save, and it makes it even better because it does take a deflection on the way through. 